So there's Wally again. There's Cole. What more? Good spell of possession here for Brobbitch United. Wally. There's Lister towards Martin. What more again trying to squeeze it through. It was a run there of Moore. Was the intended target? Here's Coots. Pressure. Oh, and they force the error. It's back with Broadbeach United as here's William Peck with Wally. Here's Joe Vanley, the former Australian national futsal captain. He's back with him again. Trying to paint that one through towards Moore. And now Powell. With William Peck. And Midwally. Had a lot of the ball in these early stages. Broadbeach United. Haven't really troubled uh, Curley and Goal at all yet, but they've. Worked away well, Fogarty trying to turn, loses out in the middle of the park to Antonius, but he works hard and wins it back. There's Moore, using his captain for support, looking for the one-two. Just not able to hit his intended target. That's a little trip there up by Borg, but that will suit Logan Lightning. I thought they might have tried to... Maintain some of the ball himself, but there's Mosery. He wins it back, and that's nicely done by Fogarty. Into Paul. There is what more. It's a good challenge in the park. Come back by. Kutz. Is now with Lister. There's Kutz. There's Schmidt. He's back with him. The player coach of Logan Lightning. There's Schmidt trying to go down and what more. Quick to just pump that one back towards Cowley. Both sides full of absolute quality. It has been a frantic start. Broad Beach, the other side, it's definitely got their foot on the game. A little bit of space now here by, by Watmore. Looking for Beachley Price. And he's claiming to be fouled there, the Broad Beach United striker. Broadbeach United are a fairly new squad put together this season. Lots of new signings. Watch with delivery, it's headed away. Almost fell perfectly for Antonius. That's Beachley Price. He just held on to it a little bit too long, but he does well. Anyway, here's Mitwali. Looks to switch it, but not enough on the on the pass there. No Martin. Back with Simpson. No Kutz. There's Lister. There's Pope. Big signing as well for Logan Lightning. 
Harvey Polk. He was signed by uh, from Gold Coast Knights. He actually captained the under-23 side to the Premiership Championship double. He is Logan Lightning's answer to Paul in the uh, middle of the park. Mosery and, and Wally battling for it. Wally coming off best day. That'll be an interesting battle through 90 minutes. Wally definitely getting the better of his opposite number. Simpson will go for the long throw. Sometimes these long throws are just as good as a corner. Big Vita Kangas in goals for Broad Beach. Might come and collect it. He punches it instead. It's well defended by Broad Beach. It's exactly what you want from your goalkeeper in those areas just to come out and do defensive duties. Here's Kutz. Squeeze it through. There's Golding, the Logan captain. Fogarty trying to break. Smith, but it's lost out. Trying to pick out Mosery. He's got a tough time from the crowd. Mosery, but we know that he's got loads of quality if he can show it. Hasn't quite had the chance to do so yet. Especially Price taking it. Strong defensive challenge though by Golding. Curry in goals. Nicholas Curry. There's Pope. Now Schmidt. Back to Harvey Pope. A turn there from Kutz. That switch there from Golding. There's a little bit too much on it towards Schmidt. It's a little bit too much on it. Not quite able to bring it down. Tom Fell is the man in the middle for this massive clash in the FQPL1 between two sides. Favourites for promotion. Live on FQTV. Fogarty is trying to find some room, but strong defending by Golding. Here's Simpson. Back to Kutz. Here's Golding, the captain. Simpson again. Really, it's gone offside there, Reeves. <laughs> Wally to Peck, Giovanni. Once again, there was Smith. Giovanni. Delightful turn there by Mitchell Speechy Price, but he just gives away the ball. Frustration there. <laughs> and there's Pope. Picking up for Logan Lightning, and now Lister. Hoots again. Both sides definitely just trying to feel each other out. Don't want to overcommit as yet. Happy to hold on to the ball and spray it around both back line. 
can be a little frustrating for the neutral, but here is Lister. Both defences on point in the opening 20 minutes. There's Mosry. Lovely turn, finally gets away. Mosry still going himself, and it's touched away by Giovanni. Mosley finally able to show exactly what he can do. He picks it up here from Schmidt. Looked like he was going to give it back to Tons. But while he gets into the box before finally being crowded out. He's a real danger man for Logan Lightning. He's shown it there in a glimpse of what he can do. Another opportunity though as they try and crowd the goalkeeper. The Throw is flicked on. Simpson trying to play it back in. It's not the best of balls. Here is Smith. Powell just opting to knock it long. It might get picked up here, but it's a little bit dangerous there. Coming across there from Speechy Price. Taken out. The assistant referee. Like they are, will be definitely okay. You back on the way. Schmidt looking for some options here. Mosher again getting away and again it's defended by William Peck. Here's Antonius. Right, this right side now with Martin. Pope asking for it. Looking for the one two. Martin having to go back to Simpson. Simpson sprayed it. Here's Antonius. He's still going, and again, there's just too many players around him. And now Broadbeach United might be able to break here as Fogarty skips away from Simpson, and that's definitely a foul. It will be a yellow card as well for Simpson. Fogarty just far too quick there for Simpson. Skipping away. Especially Price. it back the long ball there by Golding looking for a striker they actually do really well and Tony is trying to look back through to Reeves there's Pope now Fogarty Okay, his opportunity to take on Simpson. Simpson gets a touch, Fogarty gives it straight to Kutz. And here he is. Morgan might look to try and break themselves. That's given straight to Moore. Game's just lacked a little bit of quality in the last few minutes. Here's Moore. Powell. What more? Moore again. Opted to go back into a crowded box there. And the challenge from Powell. Powell picks it up. He might fancy the shot. But Pope getting a tackle in right when it mattered most there, the youngster. Just 
intercepted by Peck. They were looking for Rosary. No, Moore. Powell. Speaks to the price. Powell trying to squeeze it through to Fogarty. Just a wee bit too much on that. That's Pope. And Golding. Golding is a key member of the defence. He was named in the MPL team of the season actually in 2019. With him as a pass towards Reeves. Looks like he might have just drifted offside. Now here's Peck. Simpson. Back of Pope. And here's Schmidt. Richard Price really looking for that one, I think. He is down in a little bit of pain, but here's Pope again, switching it out to his right side. Lord Simpson. Simpson on a yellow card. Back with Kutz. Now here is Pope. Kutz back to Pope. And as Wally gets above Mosery. Peck. You know, a fantastic season last year for Broadbeach United. He's getting promotion, doing what they do best, back to back. He's looking to battle for the chance. Get into the MPL. There's a huge step up between FQPL2 and FQPL1. It's really one of those divisions that anybody can get points off anybody. There is Simpson. Recruits. And Mosrain a bit of room, but the referee. Have his flag up there. Just drifting offside. Well, just past 25 minutes played here on the Gold Coast. It is still Broadbeach United nil, Logan Lightning nil. Thank you for joining us here live on FQTV. Despite the quality on show, we're yet to have an attempt on target that has troubled either goalkeeper. Both sides have been really good on the ball, but haven't been able to do anything in the final third. Fogarty is intercepted by Simpson. But Wally might have won a foul there off Pope, and he has done. And I'll tell you, this is a good opportunity for Broadbeach United to make something happen. It is a decent range. It's very central. Wally coming in. Very quick. There's a delivery by Smith. It's helped on, almost fell for Price. It's still there, Mitwally. Shot by Fogarty, save Mitwally again. Great defending as Logan Lightning putting their bodies on the line. Here's Fogarty. Needs some support, Mosry. Looked like he pushed him down there. But referee saying nothing in that. Mosry still battling. And it does go round there for a corner. Might see that one again here. Fogarty, Mosry battling for it. He did go down relatively easy, but tell you when you put your arms on the back of a player you do run the risk 
Uh, nothing in it, according to Tom Phil. And Broadbeach have the corner. First real bit of action here as we approach a half hour mark. There's a delivery, it's a header. As Paul was up to meet it, Mosry this time clearing his lines. There's Borg. Back with Peter Kangas, and now William Peck. Gio Van Light knocking the ball out of play in the end because looks like we have Reeves down. Didn't quite catch what happened there to Reeves, but that gives both sets of players to take a bit of a breather. He was just asking for the physio to come on here. Well, as we do approach that half hour mark, Rob Beach United definitely having the best opportunity with that goal mouse scramble. Nothing really coming of it. Cowley didn't have to make a save. His defence was on point in front of him. Might just be a wee bit of cramp here from, from Reeves. Morgan Lightning also having an opportunity from Mosery busting into the box. As yet, still now the keeper able to make a save. Well, Leighton James, opportunity for him to really drum into his team what he needs from them. They have held the ball really well, they just got to play make. That change from defence to attack a little bit quicker. Both sides really allowing the opposition to get back and defend, get men behind the ball. Opting to break up the park slowly. Referee calling both sets of players back onto the field as Reeves has to take a walk. There's Mitwale, Giovanni as well. And now it is with Smith. Powell, looking at the one two with Christian Price. Powell, that's a lovely exchange. Here's Fogarty looking for more, but they, he just drifted offside. That was a real shame. It was a good move from Broadbeach United. Quick interchange of passing. Cowley will take the goal kick and he'll opt to just launch it into Broadbeach territory. It's flicked on. Martin did go down, wins a foul for Logan Lightning, and now they all have an opportunity themselves here with this free kick. It's flicked on. Definitely a foul. There's Antonius standing over it. It's a left foot though, deflects off the wall and we have a corner here for Logan Lightning.
will be the left foot delivery as the away side looking to take the lead here with the corner is a deep one headed away and comfortably by Powell there's the delivery back in by Golden Kangas watching it go all the way out There's Giovanni. Logan opting to put a little bit of pressure on Broadbeach. Here's Mick Wiley. Here's Watlock. Looking for Moore with that one two, but intercepted by Hope. There's Lister under a bit of pressure. Defended by Powell, watching Mosry all the way. Ten minutes to go till half time here. There'll probably be a bit of additional time for that injury to Reeves. He is back on the park, which is excellent for Logan Lightning. Here's Simpson. It's a deep delivery towards Mosray and more forces to knock away. Mosray and McWally battle for it, but it does go out for yet another corner here for Logan Lightning. As they try and put a little bit of pressure on themselves here. Yet to trouble the keeper still. I've probably said too many times in this first half. There's a delivery again, once again, it's headed away. Wally helps it on, not properly cleared, and the shot again coming in. I think it was from. That was Golding. Captain coming in. Definitely not knowing for his. Goal scoring ability from that range. Smith back to his keeper. And there's Giovanni. With Wally, looking to play it through, the lovely turn and it breaks nicely here for Speechley Price, tries to squeeze it in, had to be more decisive, claims of a penalty again, referee says nothing more, right foot delivery, it goes all the way through, still the opportunity alive though with Smith, but it's picked up there by Simpson and Logan might try and break themselves now, here's Antonius, that is a late Catch there by Paul. Logan were a little bit frustrated because they were on the break there. Referee calling that one back. Was definitely a foul by Paul after the ball. Antonius was breaking away. Quite right, the yellow card there from Paul. Leaving that right leg in. And speechly Price just asking the question the referee. Oh, that wasn't a penalty. Well, they can be frustrated, but in the end, it is Tom Fell's game. Long it goes. There's Antonius. 
Cornelius just floats her in. And there's absolutely no one there. There is William Peck. And Wally. And Peck again under pressure from Reeves. Well, Logan definitely coming out of that little break they had with the injury of Reeves. With more intent to put more pressure on Broadbeach, but it's actually allowed them to have a little bit more space. There's Fogarty looking for the one two there with Borg. Borg fires it across. And I think it was actually probably knocked off the line there as it comes across towards Peachley Price. Walk does really well to knock it in, and I tell you, didn't make that clearance. There's two waiting on the follow up. Well defended by Logan Lightning. We have to say that Golding and Lister and Peck and Giovanni, all four centre halves, have had a very good game for both sides. Isn't always the most exciting of games for a neutral when it is the back four of both teams that have been the best of the half. There is Giovanni. Here's Peck of Giovanni. And he sprays it out to Mitwali. Back into Paul. And Moor surely drifts offside there, Moor. That could be really frustrating there. He could look right along the line. Can't have your wingers drifting offside in that position. to Golding. Nice Simpson. Simpson looking for the run of Antonius but a little bit over hit as Vida Kangas has it. And now with William Peck. Back with Vida Kangas. And Borg. Smith. Giovanni again with Smith. Here's Mitwally, driving inside, trying to squeeze it through, but there's a poor ball and it's picked up there by Schmidt. Here's Schmidt, Schmidt again, Mosry, and he gives it back to Powell. Powell couldn't quite catch up with what more. Hey, Lister. Here's Golding, the captain. Ops to go long. Straight through to Vida Kangas and a Broadbeach United goal. There is William Peck. To Mitwally. Side to Watmore. Jovan Lane Smith. Smith, Fogarty, does well, Speechley Price, have to be fouled and again it's another free kick here in a good area. Let's see this one again, it does come into him. Like he gets a tad lucky there, Speechley Price, but it's a good opportunity right before half time. Smith and Pearl and Giovanni all standing over this one. Isn't too far away from having a shot here. 
It might be the left foot here of Paul, or it might be the right foot of Smith. It is Paul. I tell you what, wasn't too bad. Not too much on it. Curly makes a save from that type of range. You've got to put a little bit more power on it rather than the placement. Curly with the save. Now Simpson. And he gives it away. Curly picks it up. Fogarty driving. He looks inside his price. Now Smith. Out to Moore. Moore lets it run inside him. Here is Moore. Fires it across goal and it is defended nicely by Golding. Reeves battling hard. And he put a little bit on. Peck, he's. Peck just took one in the face there, I think, as he's battling for it. I see it again here. Yeah, just after. Like he's boot caught him in the face. Oh, he does look to be in a little bit of pain. <laughs> so puts Cotton, I think, on the ground. William Peck, but he looks like he will continue. Is past the 45 minute mark now, but referee should add some time on for both those injuries during the half. There is Midwali. Peck back on the field. There is Peck. Giovanni. Giovanni drifting forwards. Now he picks out Borg. Borg with the early delivery. Golden clears. Only as far as Watmore. Back to Mitwali. And a bit of pressure there off Rees. Has to go back to his keeper. Now William Peck. Giovanni. Mitwali. Now Peck temporarily out in this right side of the park. There's Mitwali. Now Giovanni. And Smith's trying to squeeze it through. Price again. Might have been fouled there. The referee actually giving it against Brobich United. does blow the halftime whistle here on the goal course Broadbeach United and Logan Lightning still locked here at 0-0 it's a, it's a game that's lacked quality from both sides in the final third but both sides have done well on the ball and both defences have been on top, halftime here on the goal course it's Broadbeach United 0 Logan Lightning 0 
Belton Industries is proud to be the official shelter and grandstands partner of Football Queensland. Felton offers a range of premium aluminium grandstands, from elite portable spectator seating to soccer team shelters for players and coaches. Give your fans the best view of the game with Felton's comfortable spectator seating. With sun-safe shelters, all powder-coated in your team colours, Whatever your club needs, Felton has a high-quality, low-maintenance seating option to suit. We are the pioneers in Australian-made grandstands and team shelters. Contact Felton today on 1800 834 016 or visit felton.net.au.
So when we press that, that team in the counter as well, for them? No, no, I really think that's a really Oh, okay. Yeah, the guy have to be really make sure all the time is what happens. That's the other thing talking about. Always after a match, I always feel like I want to play. You know, there's this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, when you hit, when you throw out, you know, like a, a, a ball of it. Yeah, like, uh. Yo, you go. <laughs> you go. <laughs> Uh, welcome back to the second half here at Broad Beach on the Gold Coast. We just await the return of Logan Lightning as Broad Beach United are on the field and ready to play. It was a interesting half. The other side really able to trouble any, any of the goalkeepers, but they did have large spells on the ball, Broad Beach United. They were comfortable. Giovanni using his wealth of experience. This is his third season at Broadbeach United. And as he passes it on to the rest of the players, the rest of the boys. It is an intriguing game as Broadbeach United newly promoted and have been put together. A lot of new players in the team this year. Broadbeach yeah. United have a rich history really of having a lot of talented players who have gone on to play professional football. Back in 1963. Well, still we wait, Logan Lightning. You're definitely getting uh, stunned talking to here at halftime. They were top of the table at the end of round one. They had a 3 0 victory, put them up there. It has been much more of a difficult ask this afternoon. It's very comfortable last time. You know, uh, Ronaldo, but the Brazilian guy, Robert oh, right. C Cidan, yeah, yeah, Roberto Carlos, these guys. Oh, Logan Lightning have finally joined us for the second uh, 45 minutes. Doesn't appear to be any changes by both sides. Yeah. About to get on the way. Well, elsewhere in the other games this afternoon in FQPR 1, Southwest Queensland Thunder winning by four goals to nil. And Zipswich and Kabulcha defeating Mitchelton by three goals to one. But we are ready for the second half. Hopefully, a little bit more excitement for us.
Tom Fell will get his back on the way in the final game of this Saturday evening matches. And we are back on the way as Broadbeach United. This time in there, yellow. They're going right to left, Logan left to right in the all white strips. Here's Mitwale. Oh yeah, both teams really were happy to play the safe pass, the safe balls. Just need a little bit more direct play, I think, from the second half. Pass from Simpsons intercepted. Now Powell looking for the run there of Smith, but it is a tad over hit, but Smith does. So Fogarty Rally does pick it up. Speechly Price on the layoff here to Moore. Moore probably should have just had a crack. He tried to lay it back to Speechly Price. And Logan Shubilly break now here with Pope. Pope now out to Simpson. Simpson slows the game down, but does opt to take on Smith. Lays it inside. Looks like a free kick there on Martin. The referee agrees, and, and this isn't a very good spot here for Logan Lightning. It looked like initially Simpson had slowed the ball down too much. As Martin just getting to the ball, there ahead of Giovanni. Martin standing over it with Antonius. Puts is also there. The coach will leave it. Logan Lightning looking here for a fast start here on the Gold Coast. There's a left foot strike up and over from Martin. Not troubling the goalkeeper. He'll be very disappointed with that. Just leaning back a tad too much as he tries to put his foot around it. There's Giovanni. It's well won by Simpson. Picked up low by Fogarty. There's Smith. Morgan putting a lot of pressure on them there, the Watmall. <laughs> Watmall coming short, but Powell takes over. bit overhead there by Pauly. Well, thanks for joining us here live on FQTV. Still nil-nil the start of this second half between Rob Beach United and Logan Lightning. I'm Alan Kroll. And it is really good to have you here on this Saturday. Beautiful Saturday night. Clouds just beginning to come over here on Broad Beach. It is Golding. Just squeezes that through. The Simpson who tries to squeeze it also through. Up towards Martin, but just a little bit too much on that. Well, the beginning of the half has Started very much like the ending of the first. Here's Mitwale driving forward, but Mosre using his pace to get back. 
There's a turn by Smith. Towards Moore. Again, it's Kutz, and he's fouled by Whitmore, the captain for Beach United. Definitely on the charts there, fouling more than Logan Lightning. Seven fouls to four. There's Martin. Antonius. Powell intercepts it. Fogarty. Now to Smith. Smith switching it up towards Moore. Wally just squeezing it through. Now here's Fogarty. Now Mitchell. And speechly Price just unable to keep that one down. First time really other side's got a little bit of break in that area of the park. It was a right ball from Fogarty. Actually it looked like it might have taken a nick as the referee does award the corner. It's taken short then delivered in but there's no one there. Goes all the way out the back. Broad Beach look to break. Mosery skips away from Fogarty. Mosery switching back to his right foot. He's still going. He's so strong. And what a chance that was there for Reeves. He should have done absolutely much better than that. Mosery working so hard there to create that chance all by himself, using his strength. It looks like it might have taken a nick. It might have come back off Reeves according to the referee and the linesman. And that was a massive opportunity there for Logan Lightning. And they really need Mosry to do a little bit more of that. There's Giovanni. There's McWally. Pope picks it up as it's given away. Well, both these sides have a fantastic history as well. There's Logan Lightning. They were actually formed in 1979. That well, was a year that the Lee and Logan Home Soccer Clubs, they merged in 2011 to make Logan Lightning as it is today. Up towards Fogarty, Simpson battling Fogarty. Fogarty's still going, but not, not, not enough in that. According to the referee, Fans are a little bit frustrated at that themselves. Might see that one again here. Fogarty and Simpson battling for it. And back off the post there from Speechley Price. Moore plays it back in towards Mitwali. Mitwali trying to work it. It's back with Moore and it's saved by Curley. That was an opportunity for Broadbeach. And Moore working it back into Mitwali. Mitwali just trying to find some room. Does finally fall for Moore. And a first shot on target from Broadbeach United. Fine save from Curley, although it was well straight at him, and you do expect him to make it. Was hit with a bit of venom. Game coming alive in the second half.
Here is Fogarty. Out towards Moore. Moore brings it down, looks to try and play it in early. It comes back to Moore, the second delivery's better, it's a fine save. Fogarty! Couldn't quite do anything with it. Knocked back in towards Fogarty. Claims of a handball, referee waves him away. And now Reeves looking to chase this one down. You've got Peck for company, here is Reeves. Reeves looking for some support. Well, Broadbeach you can see there from the attempts on target. Three attempts on target now for Broadbeach. They had just about one in the first half. Here is Kutz. That's going to help a lot there of Mosry. Live here on FQTV. Thanks again for joining us. If you are watching on the Facebook or YouTube stream, make sure you do click that like or subscribe for more action. It's all the top games, all the featured matches covered live on FQTV in the footballing pyramid of Queensland. A great ball through, here's Moore in a little bit of room. Moore opts to play it across. Tries to pick out. Especially Price, but he probably should have just gone himself again, Moore. It's another opportunity. What a pass that is from Powell. Moore, has got to have a goal. Does play it across, knocked away from Golding. Broadbeach piling the pressure on. There's a right foot delivery up towards McWiley, the keeper almost caught there in no man's land. Fogarty's delivery takes another deflection. Referee does point for another corner. Broad Beach United's fourth corner of the day. As Fogarty continue to taking taking these corners. They have a lot of height, Broadbeach United. It's another good delivery, but Wally with a header! And he just couldn't keep it down. It's a great delivery, great movement from Wally to find the room. But really, with the amount of space he had, probably should have done just a wee bit better. Well, with that, we do have a change from Broadbeach United. Moore does make way for Strolley. That was a very good half from Moore. He does have a few chances. He probably should have done better with yeah, Moore, but Strolley. Back in the day, was a previous... Of course, Premier League double winning with Magic United. Up long it goes. Mosry trying to get there. Giovanni. Looking at. Up on this left side. Fogarty does brilliantly, lays it back. Smith. There's Strolley. Strolley floats that one in. It's a little bit behind Reeves. There's Powell. Shot blocked. It is back with Powell. Squeezes it back through. That's knocked away. Didn't have to bring 
Broad Beach making that positive change on the hour mark. Moore did have a few chances. Just didn't quite make the right decision in this commentator's opinion. Referee not happy with where that ball was played. Here's Giovanni into Smith. There's Powell. Oh, within that period of substitution, it does look like Logan Lightning also making the change as Antonius is replaced by Nepali. Nepali looked to have come on in that left side position and was removed more central. Wally winning that header, referee. Not a lot in that, and here come Broadbeach might be able to break quickly, but it's given away by Smith. Smith does get a touch on it. Martin not quite able to get to that. Over an hour now played. Here on the goal course, it is Broadbeach United nil, Logan Lightning nil. It was five goals scored between these two sides in round one. Yet to find the back of the net in round two. There's Giovanni Light back in for Smith. There's Borg back to Smith. And there it is with Peck. With Wally. Back to Peck. Smith, Speechley Price under the pressure there of Golden and both players really getting into a little bit of handbags oh, foul until Golding's just opted to come out and put pressure on Speechley Price just fouled off the ball both players shaking hands up getting on with it With this free kick, a chance for Broad Beach United to get the ball into the box. There's that delivery up towards Paul. It's headed away. Uh, it looked like he was hitting the head. Again. It's a decent delivery. Referee just giving it for the the hands that were raised on Golding. Free kick awarded to Logan Lightning. Referee having a wad with Simpson and Golding here. You can only assume it's for a descent and at the end of the day it is Tom Fell's game. Happy with the chat back from the Logan Lightning players. Well, 65 minutes played. And it's still Broad Beach United nil, Logan Lightning nil. Both defences on top. Yes. Is Schmidt looking to switch it all the way up to Simpson? Simpson now. There's no real option in front of him at all there. Mosry is taking a little bit too long to move from, from left, left to right and support him. It's a bit of a heavy touch. And allows Smith to climb in and win it. Here's Smith. A lot of room on this right side if he could pick out Strolley, but it was a weak pass. Opportunity goes begging and. Up towards Napoli is 
That route is blocked as well. Here's Schmidt. Back to Crowley. Now Lister. Back again with Lister. Pressure from Beachley Price. Possession is given right back to Broadbeach. Did a Kangas in goal. He was paramount to the success of Broadbeach United last season. A very top class goalkeeper. Strolly just putting that ball out of touch. There's Lister. Well, two more exciting games tomorrow in FQPL1 as Kapalaba, all Brisbane strikers, and Albany Creek or Morton City too. They place, they take on St George Willowong. Both those sides always had very good games back in the Brisbane Premier League days. At one point, those sides were always battling for the top place. They have a rich history between them. So that can could be a very exciting match tomorrow night or evening rather at 5:30. Well, Broadbeach with the opportunity now. There's a delivery, a free header, and it's headed in. And Broadbeach United have the goal. It's Miss Wally with the header. It's a thunderous header from the right back. The delivery was. On point, wonderful header. He evades his marker. And that celebration is just wonderful as he celebrates with his boy. That's exactly what this game needed. You had a feeling that it might just come from a set piece. That delivery was everything. Mwali with the header heading beyond Crowley. And Broadbeach United strike first here. And will that open this game up here in the second half? Logan Lighting. I need to score. Here's Simpson. Lister, Logan, how will Logan Lightning respond going a goal down? That is their first goal they have conceded this season. Here's Paul, out now to Fogarty. Can he keep it in? He can just. Fogarty now, looking to get on his left foot. Golding coming across, using his body well. Referee not seen an awful lot in it. Goal might just give Broadbeach United a lift. 70 minutes on the clock here. Well, Logan Lightning opting to make a change. Schmidt is making way. have a very good game it's a shame for him this looks like it's been a little bit of change as Martin definitely pushed further up the crowd is very much behind Broadbeach United as they have taken the lead well, it does look like Logan Lightning also making a change there Strogus has made his way onto the park for oh, Broadbeach United. 
And he has taken the place of the captain, Watmot. The crowd very much behind the home team here. They have deservedly taken the lead on the second half display. Here's Morzeri. Morzeri looking to get to the byline on that right foot. Morzeri wins a corner. It is Logan Lightning's fourth corner as they try to respond here. That's a good delivery. It's punched up in the air by the Kangas. It's another corner for Logan Lightning. Logan will hope to respond with a set piece of their own. They do have the height advantage over Broadbeach United just. It's an okay delivery, it's flicked on, claims of a handball, nothing given. Here is Smith. I take on Nepali. Nepali using an awful lot of his hands and he gets the yellow card, goes into the referee's book, preventing the Broadbridge United attack. Well, the goal coming from Midwali. Probably wouldn't have been anyone's first goal, goal score picked. Wog has come in. It's struggled. So he had a little bit more room than he had. Strolly plays it in. Doesn't beat the first man. Not the best of deliveries. Smith plays it back forward, but Logan have it under control. Kelly knocks long. Peter Kangas. But Wally, the goal scorer. Under a lot of pressure, and it looked to have been fouled, and the referee does foul But Wally. A little bit hard in the back there from Reeves. Oh, it's one of those ones that does appear to be a silly foul because they didn't have a lot of pressure on them, but Wally really wasn't going anywhere. And that's taken a bit of a sore one to the head. The physio's on board. Do hope that he is certainly okay. Fifteen minutes to go here on the Gold Coast. Broad Beach United leading Logan Lightning by one goal to nil. And this man who taking a little bit of a knock with the goal, Mitt Wally. Fabulous headed finish beyond Cowley. Brought a little bit of spark to the game. Final 15 minutes. He is Golding, the captain, looking to inspire his side to get this equaliser. As with Golden again, his newly promoted side have the lead. It does go long. Giovanni. Golden knocks it back. Here's Smith, referee 
opting to stop the game. There's a fantastic atmosphere here in Broad Beach, the home support. Really bringing it out here for Broad Beach United's first home game of the league season. Speechley Price. Powley. It's caught just at the end there from Martin. A little bit late there on Powell. Is Peck. It's giving away Lee May coming for it. Uh, Martin trying to play it through. There's Coots, haven't seen an awful lot of him in the second half. Referee opting to penalise Coots and also gives him a yellow. Oh, the words after. It's a needless yellow from the Logan City player coach. Broad Beach happy to slow the game down. allowing both sets of players to have a brief stop here for some water while Crowley is currently down in a bit of pain himself referee is keeping an eye on the time fantastic atmosphere here at Broad Beach Crowd has been electrifying. Broad Beach United leading by a goal to nil. It has been the Broad Beach players sneaky trying to get into the Logan Lightning's huddle there as they let's see what they were. Cheeky play there from Speechley Price. Second half has been a lot of stop start. Twelve minutes to go here. Broad Beach United looking to hold on to this single goal advantage. The goal coming from a set piece. Back with this free kick. Back here with Giovanni. There's William Peck. William Peck actually Peck, Powell and Lister, all former suffered Paris Apollo players. Lister of Logan Lightning and Powell and Peck of Broad Beach United. Part of that very successful Suffolk Pirates Polo play team, and that was definitely late. Your card as well for Shrolly. Into that final 10 minutes, Slogan Lightning with the opportunity here, they will go straight for the delivery into the box. I think by Fogarty and Strolly again. Oh, 
Borg. Borg being putting a lot more pressure on Broadbeach. Reeves chasing that one down. Giovanni knocks it long. There's McWally. A nice strolly. Driving into the box, looks inside, there's a chance! Huge opportunity from Struggers. Strolly does brilliantly well, they're claiming for a corner. Don't think there was here. Strolly. They really want to find the room, so much space there. Struggers, he's got to keep that down. Simpson on the back a lot of yellow cards getting handed out now as both sets of players trying to hold on Logan trying to get back into it and Broadbeach trying to hold on 11 fouls aside 9 minutes to go Broadbeach happy with the stop start nature for sure now Golding Nepali Pally trying to drift on the right foot. Gives it away. Comes back though with Kutz. Here's Kutz again. Only mate. Fires it across. It's a good delivery. It's just a heavy touch from Reeves. Now Golding loses out here. Now Broadbeach might have numbers coming forward. Ball there from Smith to Speechley Price with the right foot and he couldn't keep it down. Another opportunity there for Broadbeach. Fantastic move. They broke quickly this time. Especially Price having Smith and Fogarty inside. But you cannot ask your striker not to shoot in that position. Here's Lee May. One end to the other now. Surely a free kick on Coates it is. I'll tell you what. This is a great position for a free kick. And I'd say if you had to pick a spot to take a practice free kick, it wouldn't be too much further from here. The crowd is just absolutely fantastic here on a Saturday night here on the Gold Coast. Coates and Martin standing over it. It's taken short here. There's that delivery from Simpson. It's a bit deep. It's headed away. Wally chasing that down. What a fantastic ball that is. A keeper coming out though. Crowley is in absolute no man's land. Strolly can't quite use his left foot. Strolly and he can't keep it in. I tell you, that was a chance and a half. What a ball this is. Speechly Price, keep it done brilliantly well. The Strolly just trusted his left foot, had to try and come back on to the right. Uh, opportunity goes a miss. At 2 0, it would be game over, but we are into the final five minutes of regular time. Napali looks back inside to Lee May. Lee May fighting for it, advantage play for referee. Wonderful done there from Struggers and again Broadbeach have numbers Logan Love enough back Fogarty Fogarty tries to get it across but I tell you what that was great defending from Logan Lightning there was four on one there I believe four on two rather and Simpson was on his own Broadbeach couldn't make them pay Pally Wally clears. Actually, Price controls it. Again, there's room. Here's Fogarty. Actually, Price trying to stay on side. It comes across. Surely for 2 0. It is 2 0. Logan Lightning caught with too many bodies going forward. Actually, Price with the finish. Fogarty. There's all the work done from him. And there's a tap in. Broadbeach United. 
goal, two goals to the good. And with five minutes left to play, surely that is game over. Fogarty with the assist. Logan Lightning really have it all to do. Becky Price. Right with that, and with that second goal comes. Norwich United will look to make another change here. So to hold on for the final four minutes. Logan Lightning are also making changes themselves. Good one already, they've got to throw the kitchen sink at it now. Uh, if the fans weren't loud before, they're definitely loud now. As Broad Beach, two goals to the good. And are surely looking at six points from a possible six. Two wins at the start of the 2024-25 season. And the race for the MPL. Very early doors. A lot of football left to be played, but Start well, there's Reeves with the left foot. And that's saved by Vita Kangas. And unbelievably, that is Logan Lightning's first shot on target. There's Noy in the middle of the park. Usually, mate. Into Kutz. And Polk. Nice Simpson. Into Kutz. Kutz in a little bit of room. He's trying to turn. And Golding Rala just fouls. Fouls Giovanni. Final two minutes. Well, it was very even first 45 minutes, but Broadbeach United definitely coming out and stepping up in the second half. Not a whole lot in the sides. There's Struggers. Struggers turning inside and out. Brilliant play from him. He tries to angle the delivery towards Strolly. Lemay pumping it long. And now here's Golding, the captain. Golding skips away. Getting to the balance. Got three players on him. He dinks it across goal. Nuali will see that one go out. Oh, when a centre half becomes a striker, as Golding remains up the park. It might be a little too late though for Broadby uh, for Logan Lightning. Here's Paul. It's given away though, it's picked up by Mosery. Mosery, Golding. Golding tries to turn. Goes down. He's claiming a penalty, but what a good challenge to me. Now Smith. Strolly. Here's Smith. Here's Pearl. Back with Smith. Kangas back to Pearl. And Fogarty. Rod Beach. Really playing this professionally now. And 
And Kutz. Kutz tries to play it through. Trying to find a pally. Maybe Kangas will just let that one go. We waste some more minutes. There was a few stops in that second 45, so I imagine there will be a decent amount of added on time. One by Noy. Nice Simpson. Out right, Tilly, mate. Again, it goes long. Golding trying to bring it down, but Borg uses his keeper. There's Powell. Smith. It's a lovely turn there from Struggers. Unable to find Strolly. Rod Beach is trying to see out these remaining minutes. Slogan Lightning. Might have switched to just having a, a pack three, really. Do they have any questions to ask of Broad Beach in these final minutes? There's Mosery. And Kutz. There's Simpson. Pope. Pope looking to spray passes. A fine pass to. Nice little touch from Lumay. Back to Nepal. Now Simpson. Some layoff there from Sebedus. Marjorie plays it in. And is Golding with a chance. Big save. For Vida Kangas. Wonderful save in fact. The second shot on target from Logan Lightning. Be the throw turn corner here. It's a deep one, it's flicked on. Nepal! As it turned in, it is, it's squeezed over the line! Nepali will probably claim that one. But Logan Lightning have a small glimmer of a lifeline. Squeezed over the line in the end. Just depends how much added on time the referee has on his watch here, Tom Phil. But Logan Lightning have probably left it little too late. But you really never say never in this beautiful game of football. Broad Beach just have to play it smart here. There's Giovanni. Light. Powell, up towards Fogarty, one back there by Noy, and Cowell. Mosery, could Logan possibly do it here? Mosery again, he should throw it into the box, it's Pope, opting to hold the ball here, Simpson. Mosery, but it's intercepted in Broadbeach. Actually, might try and break themselves here. That's intercepted. 94 and a half minutes played now. Referee having a quick look at his watch again. Fogarty. Looks to have won that fairly there, but the referee going back for the foul on Simpson. Referee needing it going. Final minute of the game. Crowley. Just going to launch it into the box here. Everything forward for Logan. But the referee blows a full-time whistle. And despite the late push from Logan Lightning, it's Broad Beach United that come away with all three points. They deserve it on this second half display. Wonderful performance from Paul and Smith in the middle of the park. Goals 
The second goal from Speechley Price winning it. Full time, Broadbeach United 2, Logan Lightning 1.